Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is Stanislav. And Nivia. Um, at the moment, we are uh, isolated. I guess whole Europe and majority of the globe is isolated indoors. And I think we will be like this for the foreseeable future. We got lucky a little bit. Uh, we work from home and at the same time we have a nice terrace here. We started planting last year and uh, this year we wanted to document a little bit what we want to do. We have a variety of plants around here and this is how it looks at the moment. We have two raised beds and a bunch of uh, pots and a lot of small plants. Uh, so the plants that we have from last year in the garden, uh, you can see we have some garlic, some onions and uh, spinach as well. Uh, and now we will plant this year, uh, and the kale, yeah, that's also from last year. And this year we, uh, we want to plant some uh, beans, uh, some salad, some uh, paprika, um, eggplants, yeah, uh, what is a lot of plants? You will see. So, <laughs> so mostly greens <laughs> and, and a few garden. and a few a few veggies and root vegetables which we really like to eat. These are uh, how do you call it uh, beans? So these are beans which climb, and we want to make a nice shade here. So all of them will climb here, and we'll train them to climb on this side and then we'll put a few more here. Here we have potatoes but the potatoes will not take too much space so here we'll put beans as well mm -hmm. and the potatoes will stay in the middle. So we should have some shade here in the summer if the yeah, plants grow nicely. Because this is like the, the after 10 a.m. sun until 5 p.m. so this is the south on this side. Should we put something else in there? We could, right? Uh, there is some space there. I would say we can add more beans. Yeah, I would add one more. I would add this variety, let's see how this one is. We have multiple varieties. So this is a this is a two-week uh, seedling. It grows very fast. I'm um, picking some spinach so that we can plant here some uh, uh, peas. And these are the peas which will grow. They will be beautiful and tasty.
Yeah, we decided to do this vlog for plants and it's good for us as well to document what we do because next year we want to make it more efficient and even now this summer we have uh, three rotations here so we would like to see the progress ourselves as well. Yeah, we also have some experience <laughs> from last year when we planted in the garden. Um, also a few videos, however this year we would like to document um, yeah, to have also more infos and to know when, yeah, how much can we plant, uh, what is the harvest after and yeah, to have actually more information about <laughs> yeah. the garden and also to learn and to document and share our experience also with others that are interested in growing their own food and yeah, having a small garden. Here we have uh, spinach from the winter, it will still grow I think for another a couple of weeks, I would think end of May. And here we put the two um, two salads, which will keep small. Then we'll decide what to do next here because we'll have free space here. So we'll see what to put next. Here we have blueberries, uh, not blueberries, or raspberries. Uh, raspberries. We have raspberries, two types of raspberries. So these are herbs which we have throughout, which we had throughout the winter. And uh, basically, yeah, we just use them for, for cooking all the time. So we have petersil, not petersil, uh, petersil yeah. parsley. parsley. We have parsley here, and here is dill. We have uh, peppers. So we have two varieties. These are also shop bought. So we have uh, we have this this type of paprika here. We hope it will be like that, but I don't think we wait. We will wait until they become red. We like green paprikas, and these are pepperonis so they are a bit spicy but not that much so i think last year we grew we grew two uh, two of the same two types and this year we grow this here and then we had space for some um, for some leafy greens and we put two two salad seedlings here i think they combine each other very well and here we have other spices this is uh, salvia and this is po uh, this is uh, what's uh, pore? <laughs> uh, leeks. These are leeks. So, so these are leeks from last year. We cut them and then they started sprouting again because the roots are very good. So they they are going at it again. Here we had uh, onions which we put for the winter, and we are still eating uh, onion uh, onion for salads. However, we took half of them out. And this is the first cherry tomato which we planted. Hopefully it will go bigger uh, because it was, yeah, we forgot it outside in one night and it was like minus degrees. But we have some flowers already, so we'll see. The whole idea is for it to go up, uh, to up on this, uh, on this wall. And we have other tomatoes which are growing. They are here, they are seedlings and we will put them in adjacent spots so they can cl climb up the wall so we will train them to climb up the wall and what else this is mint this is also mint from last year so basically we cut everything out and now it look how beautiful it is it starts sprouting again it's amazing mint is like amazing and it smells great here we have some spinach from this winter we're still harvesting it However, in the middle we took the spinach out, and this is uh, this is an eggplant. This is a kind of like small. It produces small eggplants, so we like those, and it's an amazing resilient um, plant. We grew we grew it last year, and it was amazing. We had one, two eggplants per week. Only from one plant, two eggplants per week. It was enough for us, and. It was amazing, it didn't have any problems with pests or anything like that, it, it, it grew, uh, it grew very well. And here, here we have um, an apple tree, which we, we found last year, we bought it. Uh, it had a few apples, and yeah, this year, as you can see, as you can see, I think we'll have more apples. And here at the bottom, just to use the space, uh, this is horseradish. So we hope it grows because we do like horseradish and we can combine it and uh, make it wasabi like because yeah it has kind of the same test, taste. Uh, and here this is, this is a nice experiment for this year. This 
this is a kiwi vine. We didn't even realize that kiwi kiwis grow uh, <laughs> in this climate. However, after a little bit of research, apparently they do. So we will need to train it a little bit better uh, because it's not trained. And we also need to find uh, to find a spot where to put it to, for it to climb up. And here we gonna have these are the these are the um, bushes from last year. We have two varieties of blueberries here. They are amazing. Like they started growing. Look how much flower it is here. This is our second raised bed. Here we also planted some direct seeds. Um, if you can see, they are very tiny. They have to grow now with some carrots on this side. One row of carrots. Then we also have some seedlings of kale. These were also um, indoor uh, planted. And here uh, we have some radishes. These are also from direct seeding and some garlic. Um, this is actually the garlic that we have from last year. We transplanted it um, into the raised bed. On this side of the bed we have everything direct seeded. So here we have a, a row of onions, um, some radishes, two rows of um, different varieties. There are two varieties. Um, here another row of um, onions and some carrots. They are starting now growing, as the weather is warmer. On this side we have the cherry tree. Yeah, we liked it very much, so we got it a few weeks ago. Yeah, it's starting flowering, hopefully we'll have some cherries this year. And here we, uh, we have yeah, the garlic and spinach from the last year. Here we have a few plants, which we still need to figure out where to put them, but we have time. So these are a few beetroots, singletons, uh, which were left out, and this is some celery we'll need to repot. This is oregano from last year, which grew amazingly in the, in the spring. Look at it, how, how nice it is. It's an amazing plant. Uh, here we have arugula, uh, which is also from the shop. We prefer buying it from the shop because it takes a while, it takes a lot of time for it to start growing. And this is, uh, what was this? I forgot the name. Uh, these are turnips, right? So they are called kohlrabi in German, but these are turnips. And we like them because in 30, 30 days they grew and you can make amazing salad out of those. And this is our last purchase. And this is a grapevine. 